It's still nearly three weeks until Parliament resumes, and tonight the opposition is seizing on the latest scandal to ensnare the Conservatives. MP Dean Del Mastro has removed himself from the Tory caucus after he was charged by Elections Canada. As Jacques Rebeau reports, the setbacks are piling up for the Harper government. For months, Dean Del Mastro has been proclaiming his innocence. But one day after being charged by Elections Canada, Del Mastro had nothing to say when approached by Global News. It's disrespectful. If you want to show some respect, make an appointment. This is, turn that off. So you've got nothing to say to your constituents? Give me your address and I'll come there with a camera. Del Mastro's legal troubles, another blow to the Conservatives who came to power promising they'd clean up Ottawa. Taxpayers expect nothing less. They deserve nothing less. But these promises have been tarnished by a string of ethical scandal. The party guilty of exceeding election spending limits. A Conservative charged with making deceptive robocalls in the last election. Cabinet Minister Peter Panashue resigns over illegal campaign contributions. Conservative senators under RCMP investigation. And now Dean Del Mastro facing charges. So what happened? A question one cabinet minister had a tough time answering today. Whatever happened to the Conservatives' promise to clean up Ottawa? Speak to me about the fact that this country is the best country in the world for the economy. I think this government is becoming as ethically challenged as the one that it replaced. And if it doesn't take some remedial action soon, it's going to permanently lose the Conservative base of support. At the heart of many of these scandals is some Tories aren't respecting Canada's election rules. Not surprising, says one analyst, given Stephen Harper's attitude towards Elections Canada. In 2001, he wrote that jackasses at Elections Canada are out of control. There's been a culture in the Conservative Party of uh, pushing the line with Elections Canada, of not respecting the law uh, fully in terms of the letter and the spirit of the law. Compounding his political troubles, Harper has been quick to defend his fellow Conservatives when they get into trouble. Here's what he had to say about Pam Wallen and her expenses. I've looked at the numbers. Her uh, travel costs are comparable to any parliamentarian. Words of support that are coming back to haunt him. Jacques Berbeau, Global News, Ottawa.